Hello everyone and welcome to a Monster Musume Explained video. Today's video will be about the zombies, also known as the Living Dead, who are humanoid beings that possess the notable feature of not only possessing no poles, but are effectively immortal. Zombies aren't really a liminal race since they are actual deceased humans brought back to life thanks to a special infectious disease, and as such are totally dead in the biological sense but still possess enough brain activity to continue functioning as though they were biologically alive. The zombie virus, also known as the zombie plague, is a highly evolved virus of unknown origins that turns its host slash victims into zombies spread through the ingestion, injection, or transfusion of blood or saliva of a zombified individual, the virus has a reasonably fast incubation time. The zombie virus in general is fairly weak and only able to infect the body of a host that is already near death as the immune system of a body at full health will easily dispose of the viral infection. Exactly how or when the zombie virus originated is not known but it can be assumed that it existed long before 1994 as this is probably the year in which the character of Zombina was transformed into a zombie and the preservation technology to preserve the zombie body was already known at that time. A zombie's body is vulnerable to the same manner of decay a normal corpse would exhibit and unless prosthetic intervention is taken, their bodies will presumably rot past the point of functioning. Said prosthetic intervention can be in the form of being doused in preservative chemicals or receiving artificial organs. Some zombies may also graft replacement parts to themselves as they do not heal from wounds. The practice of limb replacement also serves as a manner of repair. Whether there is a restriction on what they may graft onto themselves or if they are indeed able to graft any sort of thing anywhere on their body is unknown. The brain is also assumed to be responsible for a zombie's body functioning and physical connection to it in some way is necessary for a zombie to become animate. While at least moderate damage to the brain has not shown to have any negative effects on the zombie in question, whether a body would continue without its brain is currently unknown. Due to them being dead, zombies have high pain tolerances and non-weapon based damage thresholds. Though this doesn't completely dampen their ability to feel pain or prevent them from feeling pleasure since a condition that prevented the feeling of pain would cause the nerves to be unable to send pleasure. And a zombie's blood is composed of a toxic batch of preservation fluids made to be blood-like. Now when it comes to the zombie subspecies, there are a total of four which are the early zombies, mummies, Gyeongshi, and the Frankenstein's monster. Early zombies are zombies created before the establishment of preservation technology. To prevent further decay, they spend most of their time in refrigerated rooms. They are only able to go outside during cold winter periods because of their incomplete preservation, their brains are not entirely intact, making them very easy going with the energy levels of a person who has just woken up. Mummies are a zombie subspecies from dry desert areas. Their arid environment keeps them safe from decay and even without preservative measures, their bodies remain intact. However, their arid environment has also robbed their skin of its moisture, requiring them to take long baths to replenish their fluids. They also supplement this by sucking the life force out of young men to preserve their beauty, but this tragically functions only as a placebo. Since many mummies were ancient royalty or nobility in life, they often have difficult personalities. Gyeongshi, also known as Chinese hopping vampires, are a zombie subspecies found primarily in Asian territories such as China and Taiwan. Unlike standard zombies, hopping vampires are severely affected by the symptoms of rigor mortis, making their joints, especially their elbows and knees, particularly stiff. Because of this, they must practice Tai Chi every morning in a stretch, however, their joints are always stiff to some degree while they sleep, forcing them to hop around with their elbows and knees locked straight out. A Frankenstein's monster is a subspecies of zombie that has been created or born through the combination of compatible organic parts to form a sentient, functional being. While similar in nature to and sharing many attributes with the zombie species, Frankenstein's monsters differ in how they are created. While zombies were once living beings, Frankenstein's monsters were created using parts from various corpses to create an entirely new being. And that will conclude this video. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And I will see you in the next one.